folks, welcome in Seven Rivers Racing on KQEG TV, getting us that much more closer to pretty much every racetrack in Wisconsin opening up for the race season. I'm Dan Dyker, along with Al Losey. Uh, kind of had some uh, weather type situations here. Mississippi Thunder right. couldn't get their practice in last weekend. Uh, Mother Nature just not working along too well, and I guess uh, froze a couple of water pipes uh, in that area with these sub-zero or sub-freezing temperatures we've yes. had. And, it's a typical spring. It, it, it almost is turning into that, except we had such beautiful weather here a few weeks ago that everybody turned on all their plumbing, just like we all did on our houses to the outside area of our backyards. And then suddenly there's a freeze and you've got frozen pipes and that can add up. And, and, and it's totally understandable that, that they would have to cancel that. Well, they are going to try to get it underway again on the 20th. That's their $4,000 to win season opener which we'll touch on here in a moment, starts on the 27th. Interesting week last week at the Lacrosse Speedway. Slowly but surely, some late model teams are coming out, getting their cars out, putting some practice yep. sessions down. And they had uh, an unexpected visitor in the grandstands last week at uh, Lacrosse. That is the visitor you're seeing right there. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? The, the start of the racing season is starting off really wild already. Chuck Deary uh, <laughs> trying to get the gate open to let a one to two year old 150 pound black bear out of the speedway. And some of the pictures we had seen earlier that day uh, had the bear roaming through the grandstands. Now, obviously, I start my night off with a triple cheeseburger. Everybody <laughs> knows that in western yep. Wisconsin. I don't know if he thought I might be there to knock down a triple cheese or not right off the bat, but look at that guy right there. And according to the um, the uh, uh, new wildlife groundskeeper, Ray Laughlin, uh, he stated that in his 30 years of working at the Lacrosse Speedway, he had never seen that kind of a visitor at the racetrack. Uh, you know, we've seen deer, we've seen rabbits on the racetrack during the races, uh, but never a bear. And it, it really would have been nice to to see it, you know, move along and get back into the forest if that would have well, been what it, it could it, have been it, doing. It did move along, but sadly right. enough, uh, it ventured onto I-90 where it met head-to-head right. -head with the semi and right. kind of put the end to that story right there. But, you know, that is a reminder. Black bears coming out of hibernation right now. This is grilling season. I mean, grilling right. season's 24, you know, 30, 20 for 12 months during the year. Right. Make sure you clean out your backyards and to watch for those bears. So uh, interesting way to start things off. I'm talking about the Lacrosse Speedway open practice coming up on the 21st. That goes from 10 to 2. Then everybody gets shuttled out. We open the gates back up at 4:30 as we will have our spring spectacular street drag uh, for the first time this year. It's the first time we'll have it on a Saturday night, and we hope to see uh, open 100, 150 street drag competitors come out. Uh, check out streetdragslax.com or Lacrosse speedway.com for more information there. Well, we do have some results. Holy cow, this is the time of the year I like this. The 35th <laughs> annual spring yeah. spectacular was held uh, last weekend at the Rockford Speedway and 24-year-old rookie Ryan Farrell opened the 20th year of the uh, Mid-American Stock Car Series uh, not only timing the field by nearly two-tenths of a second, but he went on to win the 50-lap feature race. And uh, next stop for Mid-Americans is Golden Sand Speedway on uh, Memorial Weekend. It's going to be Monday, May 28th. Uh, last time they were there was May 22nd at 09, so I know they're chopping at the bit right. to get back there. Big 8 Series also ran. Uh, they did avoid these weird storm patterns we had last weekend. And uh, John Reynolds Jr., right there, the homeboy in Rockford, ended right. up winning that race, uh, followed by Ryan Carlson, Kyle Shear, Jesse Bernhagen, and Dave Edwards. So uh, some good racing. They also had, I think it was 15 to 20 vintage cars show up at Rockford. You know, Rockford is always one of those uh, tracks that just gets things started quickly. and the people in the area just love going there and racing, so they'll draw a huge crowds in the beginning of the, of the season, and it will carry on during the course of the season. I saw some video of uh, some of the races and saw some of the pictures, and I know the wind uh, wasn't playing too kindly to the people. <laughs> I you know, could imagine. I was, that was down there for the Fall Classic, and it uh -huh. was cold, and you're sitting in the grandstand where you get great seating wherever you sit there, but... Uh, that wind starts whipping around, man. I tell you what, a blanket city. And it creates such a huge dynamic for the racers. They've got to deal with the tires being a lot harder. They're not going to get up the heat that they normally do, which in some cases are going to make them a lot faster. Uh, the motors can run at a little lower temperature. It gives a lot more speed and torque to the cars, a lot more grip sometimes because the tires won't get all greasy like they do on a warm day. So sometimes that really makes for great racing, even though it's a little bit uncomfortable. 
Well, for more information on the Mid-American stock cars, go to midamericanracing.com. Uh, next up for the uh, uh, for the uh, Big Eight Late Model Series, they will be uh, also looking at Memorial Weekend, but they're going to be at Columbus 151 Speedway on May 28th, Big8Series.com. Wisconsin Dells, Dells Raceway Park, uh, finally had their um, official driver orientation meeting. The new racing teams getting together with new track owner uh, Wayne Lansing to talk about some rule changes in the season. They also had a, uh, a very nice award ceremony, giving out trophies and some hardware for last year's winners. Uh, the only big uh, notable change at Dells Raceway Park this year is they're going to the Goodyear 2662s and the two six six threes, and being a tire guy yourself, what mm -hmm. what kind of a change is that when you're talking compound? Well, it's the number that Goodyear is assigning to them. I'm not sure if that's a, a softer compound or a harder compound. A lot more race teams and tracks are trying to go to a softer compound to try to get more grip, especially as a track ages. As the asphalt gets older, it's harder. It becomes more uh, more like sandpaper rather than than the smooth surface it is when it's brand new. So they try to go to a little bit softer compound to get more grip. Well, that compound's going to be used by late model sports, but in pure stocks bandits, we go into the tire rules that they had last year. Dave Trude said he's coming back this year. He's going to be moving on to a sportsman. And Jeff Burroughs, a co-champion last year, has a new teammate at the Dells Raceway Park this year, the one and only Bad Brad Worthen out of Sparta, Wisconsin. So really? Brad uh, is going to be doing full-time at DRP this year. And uh, we Good can for him. Uh, uh, root him on, and we'll see what kind of success he can get. So he is the official teammate of Jeff Burroughs, who uh, was a champion uh, at the track and also a cousin to Roger Burroughs, who runs, of course, at Lacrosse Speedway in the uh, Outlaw class. And we do want to mention uh, Frank Cryer's coming back, Red Schumann Jr., Mike Lichtfeld, they're going to be back at DRP. Uh, and uh, one big award went to Kelsey Schultz last year. She was the Rookie of the Year, also got the Most Improved Driver. Uh, May 19th will be their first practice or their um, opening night at Dell's Raceway Park. When we return, one of our guests today looking at running a full season at the Lacrosse Speedway when talking to Quick Trip, Black, uh, Quick Trip NASCAR Late Models, we're going to welcome in Travis Christensen on the Seven Rivers Racing Show here at KQEG-TV.